What up, family? This is Portland Man Dash on the Man and Lee. Real short video today is July the 5th, Tricky Tuesday in my city, Chicago, 2022. So they say it is 12.43, according to my Sony clock. Uh, long story short, uh, I got this book for free. I went and got something to eat in Hyde Park. I looked at the Barack Obama picture. I'm pretty sure of my... Uh, story is a calculated step. Motherfuckers know I ain't lying. I flipped it in the um, jewels on 59th and Cottage Grove to page 196 and 197, chapter 6, Faith. Got this book also, Mountain Bike, Indiana. Real talk. I took a picture with this white guy. You know I ain't lying. I flipped this to page... Uh, Page that I flipped it to. Either way, it added up to Barack Obama. I said Barack Obama, 44th president. I think it was 143. And I said 43 plus one is what? 44. Then I said Barack Obama. And then I looked again in the box and I found this and stuff. So I took a picture with old boy and stuff. So if you think I'm lying, you know, that's your death. Because I swear to God, I ain't playing with you niggas and shit. Um, today is 7 5, like I said, 2022. I was originated rapping. 1975. I'm doing this my way. This is the movie. Ain't no fucking joke. Um, as you can see, this um, uh, Bank America, I didn't know this was going to be on the ground when I wore my shirt today. You understand what I'm saying? I went to 69th and um, Ashton, like I said, to the Bank America. This got 15000 in it. You know what I'm saying? But they only took out 80 bucks. And a rapper says something like, uh, getting money out your ass like a ready teller. I hear everything. It says, withdraw from primary. And if you take the P-R-I out, you got Mary. You understand what I'm saying? And this is a uh, serial number 3208. You understand what I'm saying? Inglewood. You understand what I'm saying? Up to no good. And they got it out at 753. 2022 at 729 a.m. Probably that uh, Oprah Winfrey shit. You understand what I'm saying? Or Obama, whoever. You know, all of them and stuff. And when I gave my story to Oprah in 1995, she was worth almost, what, $500 million. All I asked for was $2 million tax-free. And now I'm worth uh, at least a zillion. You should have gave me the $2 million I would have. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Nobody takes out $80 fucking dollars and leave a $15,000 receipt on the fucking ground unless they want me to know what time it is. I appreciate it. So I'm going to flip this again. See what it land on just for the fuck of it. Okay. Opportunity. Page 151. You switched around. That's the American dream. Martin Luther King dream. Or uh, birthday is uh, January the 15th. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. Opportunity. And um, 150 over here, 5 and 1 is 6. I was in Chicago sometimes. Newspaper at the age of 6 in 1973. They got revolutionary war debt. See, they got to pay off all that money or whatever. But I had enough money generated to pay off uh, everybody, including the deficit for the government and all that. So, you know. You know, they charged me like $12 for the goddamn breakfast at the fucking goddamn uh, restaurant or whatever. Some fucking eggs and pancakes, right? But this book was $12. So I guess, you know, it made up for it or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Not that I care one way or another because, you know, it's a signature book. Of course, I said my signature going to be worth more than Michael Jordan. And he just had it. Make this a signature book. You understand what I'm saying? Because I put my signature in my book, Ryan's Poems and Metaphors Plus One Song. You understand what I'm saying? Copycats. I want my goddamn money when I leave about this trap building, 6210 South Kenbar Gavin, Chicago, Illinois, 60637, apartment 308 in cash. I don't want to fucking cash your check. I don't want to check. I want my goddamn cash that I put in here because the motherfucking 107. Got all kind of garbage on his floor and shit. He pulled up in a fucking brand new truck with an alarm when I was walking up trying to make me feel some kind of way. I said, did he clean up his room? Because I got a lot of roaches and bed bugs in this motherfucker. And the roaches just came for, for um, uh, uh, after four years when I've been here. So while y'all getting all these goddamn brand new trucks and shit, and this supposed to be a government funded program, 
real fucking soak, and these bugs are study coming, y'all the dumbass. Arrest these dumbass niggas, shit, for real. They dumbass. This uh, page 68 and 69. So, uh, yeah, everybody was in on it. 1969, my uh, ex-girlfriend, Lawana Joy Jacobs, says she met Oprah Winfrey when she went to the Oprah show, and that's probably why she stalked me for six months. Coming from behind, that's 84. You understand what I'm saying? I gave up my child abuse rap at the age of 17 in 1984, and that's why, you understand what I'm saying? My every move is a calculated step, and, you know, the color purple came out, of course, after I gave her my book. And my ex-girlfriend, Don Marie Evans, asked if she could piss on me, probably because they were shitting on me as a baby and shit. If I would have said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then they would have been like, oh, she like getting shit and pissed on. No, I was like, I ain't no goddamn toilet. Don't shit on me and say it's raining. Real motherfucking talk. You nasty motherfuckers shitting on babies and shit. And then when they start doing shit because they got that spirit in them like R. Kelly had, you know, and they try to shake that shit. Then y'all try to come together and shit. You fucking goddamn girls and shit think y'all slick and shit. Real fucking tough. Oprah, I swear to God, you don't get my goddamn money and my mama's money or whoever the fuck or whatever the fuck, but definitely mine's. Because I bet my rap legacy on you bitches and shit. You will fucking die. I promise you. That is a quote, a promise and whatever. You can use this in court. I wouldn't give a fuck, bitch. You try to kill me. All you had to do was give me that goddamn $2 million tax free. And you would have won, you greedy, fat, funky bitch. I know you was fat as fuck when I first went, went back in the day. You lost weight. That's what happened. I said it right. The fat black Oprah Winfrey. You just happened to lose weight. That's all. I have forgave you, stupid ass bitch. And these little nasty ass men. Me and that stalking and controlling and watching me and shit, bitch. I swear to God, I, I swear to God, my last fucking breath, bitch, would be kill that hoe. For real. With that, this is what we're going to do is point of every dash with the Mary and Lee. Funky ass, bitch.